Hello everyone. In this video I want to look at multiplying radicals. In this case, I'm multiplying radicals in the form of two uh, binomials. Very much like a FOIL problem, and in fact it's worked the same way. When you multiply radicals, we generally want to multiply what's outside the radical by what's outside the radical, and then conversely what's inside by what's inside. So in this case, I want to follow my normal FOILing methods FOIL, you remember, means first, outer, inner, last. So my first multiplication would be the square root of 2x times the 3 square root of x. And when I multiply those, I want to multiply 3 by the 1 that we assume is out in front of the square root of 2x. So I still have a 3. Inside, I'll say 2x times x. So I'll have 2x squared. So I would not, for example, say 3 times 2 to get 6. Next I'll say outer, so square root of 2 times 4 square root of y. Negative 4 square root of y, I should say. So we'll say minus 4 on the outside. Inside my radical, 2x times y for 2xy. Inner is going to be 3 times 3 square root of x. And since the 3 itself has no radical attached to it, it's just going to be 3 times a 3 on the outside. So plus 9 square root of x. And lastly, last one, I should say last one, 3 times 4 square root of y. Very similarly, since 3 has no radical, it's just 3 times a 4. So it becomes minus 12 square root of y. With these, Again, I don't. I wouldn't say three times the y. I wouldn't say four square root of three y. So again, think outside, outside, inside, inside. Lastly, I want to see if I can simplify or combine any of my terms. First of all, I don't see any like radicals, and I can't really break down anything. The two square root of two I can't break down. Square root of x and square root of y same thing. I can, however, break down this x squared. So I'll split my radical into the square root of x squared times the square root of 2. That becomes x square root of 2. Now since I have my 3 outside, I'm going to bring it down and multiply. So now I have 3x, you know, 3 times x, square root of 2. And seeing as the rest of these radicals can't be broken down or combined as like terms. I'll just bring them down with the rest of the problem. No more like terms, so this will be our final answer. Now keep in mind with multiplying radicals in this sense, quite often when you FOIL them, this is about as much simplification as you can usually do. Most of these terms are going to be pretty varied. While you should always look to see if you can combine like terms, usually you won't be able to simplify too much. So it's not uncommon to get long answers like this one, long and you know fairly complex ones. So again, we want to FOIL, multiply what's outside to outside, inside to inside, and then simplify and combine like terms as much as we can.